Okay, so I was just listening to um, this thing here from Comic Artist Pro Secrets, and it was basically uh, Ethan MacGyver talking about the new Venom, and he's commenting on how much he thinks that it looks terrible and looks like it sucks. And I agree, actually. I think it is. Um, I think it looks very fake. You look at this area here; it just looks like sort of a glossy plastic shell thing. To me, there's an outrageous amount of teeth, and I've always hated the totally exaggerated tongue look because it's like, where does this thing coil back into his uh, mouth? I think it's just absurd, and it is uh, something that has obviously changed since Venom's first appearance. It's not something we saw originally, but anyways, um, it's so in his commentary here, he said that one of the problems where he's talking back here is the difference in size. And he's talking about how, uh, how Venom should basically be just a little bit smaller than the Hulk. So he should be able to kind of stand toe to toe with the Hulk. Uh, and I totally disagree with that. Actually, I think that, uh, the character of Venom works far best when, uh, or far better when it is larger than Spider-Man, but still within the realm of possibilities. So if we look at something like this, this to me is just silly. I, I can get not 1% behind something like this as Venom. Um, to me, the whole idea of Venom was interesting originally because effectively they were very similar uh, in size. They were very similar in sort of powers and Venom would cancel out his spider sense. Um, and that's where the in interest was, was that Venom was Eddie Brock, who was a bigger, stronger person than Peter Parker, and subsequently, Peter would be facing an uphill battle, but they were very similar characters, except that Eddie Brock was slightly more physically powerful. So if we look at something, uh, like when we're looking at Hulk, here we go, we have Spider-Man versus the Hulk, and again, here we see a massive size difference, and that's why he's called the Hulk because he's just huge, and he is very hulking. Um, and you put somebody against, like Spider-Man against that, and this panel actually shows it pretty good. Spider-Man has to use his speed, has to use his agility to try and counter the size. The idea of Venom versus Spider-Man is they were both agile, they're both um, powerful. Spider-Man's just not quite as powerful. Venom just has more muscle, more power behind his things, and he can sneak attack him because the... Uh, Spider-Sense doesn't work against Venom. So once you start saying that Venom should be like the Hulk, it, it gets to this level of silliness where it's almost Spider-Man fighting somebody and the fight becomes comical rather than entertaining. If you want to consider something like a Herb Trimp Hulk, right, where you get size comparisons like this, well again, now we're not seeing a huge, huge difference. But Hulk nowadays has grown massively in size and stature. And we see stuff like these here where the size difference between them is just incredible. But originally, sure, maybe that kind of uh, issue from uh, if difference in size between the Hulk and, uh, and Venom would have been comparable. Whereas you could maybe see... Venom being close to this size, but not something where he's just this massive, monstrous creature. I uh, I think Ethan MacGyver is totally wrong on this, uh, but I think that he is totally right that this Venom does not look very scary. I think Venom should um, should look far more um, far more ominous. Like it should look not cartoony, not silly when you get these crazy amount of teeth. Uh, you don't find anything like that really in nature. So uh, I'm sorry, I don't buy into this look. And I think that he is wrong on this, uh, on the idea of how Venom works best. So that's about it and not much else to say.